Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome back to the Prague Chess Festival 2020 round 9. This is the final round, so at the end of the game I would like to show you the final standing and explain what just happened in this final round at, as this was very, very exciting round and a lot of things happen and unexpected things. So. I already show you one of the games where Jan Krzysztof Duda defeated the um, leader of the tournament Vidit Gujarati and both of the players ended with the five points at the end and here we have another exciting game and it's exciting because if any of these players can win the game uh, then uh, they're gonna win this tournament as you know without any any other participants and not exec for places just so lead uh, so uh, this is very important game and as white we have David Anton from Spain 24 years old um, grandmaster and his ranking 2697 and uh, that's 41st place in the world according to the Fidelist and his opponent uh, is Alireza Firuzia 16 years old a prodigy from Iran who actually plays uh, under the FIDE flag and uh, he's ranking 2726 uh, very incredible um, standings especially at the beginning of the year where he had a quite good tournament in VEC and Z uh, in the January which I also showed that tournament and he is 23rd uh, in the world according to actual uh, ranking so without further ado let's jump into the game white opens with c4 english opening knight on f6 so anglo-indian defense knight f3 and g6 so now we have king's indian uh, formation uh, of the anglo-indian defense knight on c3 and bishop on g7 uh, and here we have e4 so not d4 what's usually played but e4 and uh, now we get into the english opening anglo-indian defense anti anti greenfield um, uh, variation uh, and here we have d6 we have d4 of course as planned uh, which which already is normal variation um, of the uh, king's indian defense uh, and here uh, firuzia play castle we have also bishop on e2 uh, and now the variation of the uh, of this opening is orthodox variation of the king's indian defense uh, and we have e5 and now white push d5 and by pushing d5 we are now in the variation called petrosian variation so that means it's very very solid as tigran petrosian was a very very solid player uh, and then the final name of the opening after a5 stein defense in petrosian variation of king's indian defense uh, now let's see what's going on on the board so a5 um, the move is um, quite interesting because it helps uh, black to develop the um, the knight now the knight can go to c5 and it can be attacked by b4 uh, so so that's an um, interesting idea we have bishop on g5 pinning the knight and also preparing a uh, queen on d2 and and then the uh, bishop can go on h6 exchange the bishop and get some attack on the uh, king side but firuzia play h6 he say okay i don't want you to play uh, queen on d2 so uh, please move your bishop uh, so david anton moved the bishop on h4 we have knight on a6 as planned and here we have knight on d2 knight on d2 actually uh, prepares attack on the on the queen side uh, so we have bishop on d7 and now a3 we have queen on e8 so now um, the knight is not pinned anymore and we have g4 usually in this position um, b3 is played uh, making the the queen side more solid here uh, or the castle is possible queen on c2 is possible even knight on b5 uh, can be played uh, or or rook on b1 with b4 ideas but uh, 
G4, uh, I don't have this moving database, so uh, let's assume that the, on the top level it's um, the first game. Uh, and here we have A4. A4 move, uh, it's also quite interesting move. First of all, this knight now can go to C4. Uh, B4 it's of course impossible because M pass out on, um, on B3. Uh, but also the knight from c5 can jump to b3 if this knight is moved from d2 so uh, that can be an idea here we have f3 pretty standard uh, in attack on the king's indian defense uh, and here black probably should play c6 c6 uh, you know asking the the white what you're gonna do in the center maybe start to attack the center uh, because white king is still staying uh, in the center and it's very dangerous usually for white if the center is open then the black can get um, a very strong attack uh, but Firuja play h5 and he want to solve all the problems on the king side first which is probably not the best idea we have rook on g1 by anton h takes on g4 f takes on g4 and now knight on g7 so preparing f5 we have queen on c2, uh, so now f5 can be very dangerous as the king is still in the center. So white have to uh, castle as fast as possible. We have a knight on c5 as planned, so now um, black start to build some, some attack. And we have a queenside castle by uh, David Anton. Bishop on h6 immediately and now uh, look at what's going on. Uh, this knight is actually pinned and the, the knight can come on b3 and, and it can be very unpleasant uh, for white. So first Anton play g5 and say okay go away with this uh, bishop and Firuzia said um, I'm not gonna go anywhere we can exchange um, uh, the dark square bishop so if you take my bishop I will take your bishop and then I will pick up um, your pawns and I'm gonna have a quite comfortable game. Uh, so we have knight on f3 defending the pawn on g5 so now we have three defenders and we also have three attackers uh, so there is a balance on the king side but now this knight uh, was very important defender of b3 uh, so b3 now is not uh, protected so we have knight on b3 check by firuzia and king on b1 uh, and now Firuzia said, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going back. Bishop g7 was played. Uh, and here also bishop on f2. So uh, bishop on f2 to just prepare um, uh, the place for, for attack uh, on the king side. Uh, here we have knight on d4 as this knight looks very very uh, great on this outpost but actually it's just a decoration without the support of other um, uh, pieces it's it's just the decoration on b3 and it just looks nice here uh, so we have knight on d4 and actually Firuzia want to exchange um, this knight uh, and also it comes with attack on the queen so black has to black actually could play knight on d4 and um, he takes on d4 and bishop takes on d4 and after exchanging dark square bishop we could have knight on g5 and black are pretty okay here i mean um white still stand better but by exchanging most of the pieces um, black can equalize uh, quite easily here so uh, it was not played queen on d2 was played and now we have knight takes on e2 and queen takes on e2 so uh, firuzia decided to exchange uh, this knight for the light square bishop and light square bishop uh, is not so great for uh, for white as most of the pieces are on the uh, light square so uh, it was good actually for david anton and now he has a um, much better position and here f5 by Firuzia, so he counter attack. Uh, and here we have bishop on e3. Bishop on e3 actually invites f4, and f4 is um, recommended move by engine, the strongest actual, actually the strongest move. But Firuzia said, okay, if I play f4, uh, then I'm gonna lock the position, and uh, and then we're gonna have very long positional um, game. 
and I would like to have some counter chances. So he play f takes on e4. Uh, not the greatest move, but at least it has the possibilities of, uh, you know, bringing the uh, board of the bishop to life on this diagonal. So black would have uh, some very aggressive counterplay and the game just start to be mm, interesting. Now we have knight on d2. Uh, actually, knight on h4 maybe could be even stronger because it's not easy to defend the pawn on g6. Uh, so, for example, queen on e8 and then knight on e4 and position of white would be um, very dangerous. But knight on d2 was played. So, OK, this pawn not going to escape. Um, it's possible to capture it now. Uh, and here we have rook on f4. Alireza Firuja didn't find better move than rook on f4. Rook on f4 actually uh, sacrificed the exchange and uh, Firuja didn't find the, the better move. And actually, uh, believe me or not, but uh, Stockfish also didn't find any better move. Uh, rook on f4 is the strongest in this position. So sacrificing the, the exchange is the strongest move. We have bishop on f4, e takes on f4, and now knight from um, d takes on e4. We have rook on e8. So now Firuja activated all his pieces um, and uh, they are defending now position of the black king. We have queen on f2 uh, and here we have uh, queen on f7. Queen on f7 with the plan of activating the, the queen and uh, pinning the knight. Uh, so um, it's it's pretty interesting plan. So king on a1. Now black actually can go for a c3. Not now, but if takes if goes for a c3, um, and uh, and the and the pawn takes on c3, then um, white king would be very very vulnerable. Uh, and here we have queen on f5. So continuing this the, this plan, activating the queen. And uh, it's very interesting the maneuver uh, Alireza Firuja found. We have rook d on e1. Now um, the knight was attacked twice and it was defended only once. So uh, black would probably take the, the knight and both of the knights. So we have to have um, this move rook d on e1. Uh, and here, interesting maneuver for black would be f3 and after h4, queen f4 uh, and after, for example, rook on h1, um, supporting the attack on, on the h file, then bishop on f5 and uh, black actually would have this very, very strong pair of bishops. Uh, Firuja preferred bishop on e5 uh, as he thought, OK, I, I'm going to, you know, have this uh, solid pawn structures, but now bishop, um, you know, act as a as a pawn. Um, but it's quite dangerous pawn with the attack on c3. So white has to be very, very careful. White goes for h4, so preparing the attack, very strong attack on the uh, position of the black king. And we have very interesting maneuver. Queen on h3 by Firuja. And it's interesting because after rook on h1, Firuja go to d3 with the queen. And now uh, black actually infiltrate the um, territory of white. However, uh, it's um, it's what they can achieve it's picking up c4 so far uh, so uh, nothing dangerous yet but the queen is already here so white has to be very careful we have h5 attacking the pawn on g6 and a bishop on f5 by Firuja defending um, the pawn but also bringing the bishop on this um, very nasty diagonal. We have h takes on g6 and bishop takes on g6 and here rook h6 attacking the bishop and bishop is unprotected. And this is the crucial moment of the game. What to do? How to defend this bishop or, or, or what to do? So uh, knight on f8 is, of course, possible. Uh, bishop on f5 is also possible. The best move, uh, which is um, 
probably quite unexpected is actually exchanging this bishop. So uh, black would have to resign from the bishop's pair and uh, takes on e4. And after rook on e4, just play rook on e7 rook on e7 with the plan uh, rook on g7 and now uh, black actually can take on c3 and create some um, maybe probably the the drawing ideas as threefold repetition uh, would be possible here uh, but the problem is uh, in this position believe me or not but alireza firuja blundered the game and he play king on f7. So now feel free to pause the video and find the winning sequence for David Anton. And uh, you can actually feel how to, you know, defeat Alireza Firuzia and win the tournament, a very, very strong tournament in Prague. While I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So the winning move, which David Anton actually didn't find, he has eight minutes on his clock and he still have to make um, five moves and he didn't find the best move in the position. He should play rook on g6. And now what black can do? First, black can take on c3. This is the first uh, move. And then white have to find the move rook on e6. It's very difficult to find this move, uh, but rook on e6. And now bishop on e1 looks very attractive and actually it's the, the best move. Bishop d4 is also possible, but bishop on e1 with attack on the queen. And it looks like black stands much better. Uh, but then queen on f4 with check, king g7. Now rook e8, rook takes, uh, you know, for free. Uh, and here we have queen on d1, king a2, uh, queen on b3 with check. Now king on b1, uh, queen on d1, and now queen actually can go on c1. Uh, and after exchanging the pieces, uh, white just stand better. Uh, black, of course, can exchange uh, one of the piece for the piece and the pawn, but then white just uh, with check can start to pick up the pawns and win the game. So uh, that would be a pretty easy win for white. Uh, and also black can pick up the rook, obviously. So then we would have queen on h4. This is also the move which has to be found uh, soon after. So queen on h4. Uh, and now this is the threat and after king is moved then um, the knight's gonna be loose so knight f8 and here uh, we would have a queen on h6 with check the only move is uh, king on f7 and now g6 uh, and here are like very very strong attacking ideas for white so black would have to take g6 and then after queen on h7 uh, black can move and lose the, the knight or bishop on g7, but it also doesn't work because then knight on g5 with check and with the attack on the, on the rook. Uh, so king f8, now rook e8 with check, king e8, and then white can pick up the minor piece and win the game or can do it with Q queen on g8 first and after knight f8, queen f7. Uh, king d8 and only then um, take the minor piece on g7 and of course threat to take another one uh, so with extra minor piece uh, white also would win uh, so this is the move uh, we have to find rook on g6 david anton didn't found this move and he play queen on h4 with similar idea. The problem is Alireza Firuzia play a knight on f8 and white stands slightly better here, uh, but it's nothing winning. Um, white still have some initiative, but the game is very, very complicated. And these two bishops are still, still very, very strong. 
Uh, and also white has to, you know, uh, be very careful. So first a queen on h1 by David Anton bringing extra defender on the e4, but also uh, staying on the first rank as it, it can be also attacked. Uh, and here, believe me or not, but Alireza Firuzia blundered the game again. Bishop on g7. And now David Anton get another chance to win the game. So feel free to pause the video one more time and find the winning sequence uh, for white while I enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, ready? So the best move is rook on h3. Uh, and it was not found by by David Anton again. So it's kicking the the queen from the from the third rank. So queen on c4, and now rook on f3 attacking the pawn. Uh, so this is the, this is the idea. And after rook on e4, rook on e4, and bishop takes on e4. The point is now white can play uh, f4 with check. And after king on g6, actually white can go, um, takes on e4 with tempo on the queen, with tempo on the queen, which is very important. Now the queen uh, has to be moved. So bishop on c3 can't be played right now. Uh, so this is the winning idea for white. However, uh, David Anton play rook on h4 with the same idea, but this time it doesn't work because now uh, we have rook on e4 uh, by Firuzia, rook on e4, but here black has very strong move now, bishop on c3 actually, uh, and white have to just take the, the draw. If they go with the rook from e5, uh, then a rook on f4 with check, kings go on g7, and now uh, b takes on c3 is impossible because of the checkmate. So uh, we would have the checkmate here. So uh, it's impossible. This bishop is very beautiful placed. Uh, so that would not be possible. White would have to play something like um, rook on h2, rook on f2, or maybe even a rook on f3. That would also um, work with attack on the on the bishop. Uh, so bishop would have to take on b2. Uh, destroying the defense of the uh, of the king and after king on b2 queen e2 and that would be the draw threefold repetition uh, king a1 if the king is moved then um, black would just checkmate um, checkmate the king so uh, that would be not be the greatest option for white so white has to actually move king a1 king e5 king a2 queen a2 and that would be the draw so uh, this this was the way uh, how to draw by white and black would have to fight for this draw actually. Uh, however, uh, rook h on f4 was played by David Anton and it's not really the best move. We have king on g8 and now b takes on c3 taking um, the bishop. Now we have queen on c3 with check king a2 and now queen b3 and actually black stands much better now. Now believe me or not but Alireza Firuzia gonna win this game. At least he gonna get the chance to win this game. We have king on a1, queen on a3 picking up more material. We have king on b1 and now okay I will switch the sides so feel free to pause the video now and find the way how to finish David Anton in this game and win this tournament as black in the last round while I enjoy my cup of tea for the last time in this game. Okay, ready? So the point is black has to move the king to the right place first and also keep the queen in the right uh, place. So queen uh, goes to b3 or also d3 is possible. So b3, for example, we have uh, king on a1 and now queen on c3 with check. King a2 and now this queen actually 
protects uh, this diagonal, which is very important. And now knight on d7 actually wins the game. So this is the move you have to find and then c5. Uh, rook h4 now doesn't work because um, nothing can uh, be done on the on the last rank and now knight on c5 um, is possible and uh, and we have uh, actually checkmate here so if rook defends uh, this checkmate then actually there is another checkmate queen on b3 king a1 uh, queen on a3 and we would have checkmate by a knight so this is the winning way this is what you have to play uh, here you have to move the queen to c3 first and the king should be uh, somewhere here uh, so that's the way however alireza firuja uh, in this position actually let's switch back didn't find this move uh, he didn't think like okay i have to move the queen here that this diagonal is important he played knight on d7 immediately and now this is the problem king on c2 so king is ex escaping from the corner and nothing can be done about that we have knight on e5 now knight on c5 actually doesn't work so knight on e5 uh, and here we have a queen on h6 and queen on h6 it's uh, it's a very very strong move first of at all uh, it's a checkmate idea here um, but black actually have something also so bishop on e4 first with check we have rook on e4 so there is no checkmate now uh, and now also uh, black can play to pick up the rook as the rook is undefended now so queen a2 with check king d1 queen b3 check king c1 now queen c3 check now we have king d1 and queen on d3 check and king c1 and what black can do now of course they can uh, pick up the rook and alireza firuja did that but it's not winning for black it's still a draw and the draw is because black actually covers only the light squares um, around the king and white actually can uh, play on the black squares and draw this game so there are a couple of moves only we have queen on e6 with check king f8 so alireza firuja try to escape this way uh, and then move the king to the safety however we have queen on h6 on the black square again we have uh, king on e8 we have queen on e6 check king on d8 but now queen on g8 and nothing can be done now queen has to go back so in this position both players agree to a draw and both players got the half point uh, so yeah very very crazy game and uh, david anton had the chance to win this game twice and alireza firuja got his chance to win this game as well both of them didn't find the you know final blows and uh, didn't win the tournament and uh, let's see the final standings now here we go I mark the games with the green for the last round. So as you see, Vidit just lost. He get the five points. Alireza Firuja draw. He also get five points. He could win. Jan Krzysztof Duda won. So uh, from four points, he got five. So he is also on the first place exec for. And David Anton also could win, but only draw also five points. And Samuel Shankland. Uh, he won his game against Nikita Vityugov. And as you see, if Nikita Vityugov win this game, he would have five and a half and he also had the chance to win this tournament. So that's pretty, pretty crazy stuff. And these two players actually, Vidit Gujarati and Alireza Firuja play in the playoffs and uh, Alireza Firuja won 2-0. I'm not going to show you that games. Uh, he, he won pretty fast. They, they were blitz games and Vidit Gujarati got the second place in the tournament. Jan Krzysztof Duda is the third 
David uh, Anton the fourth and Samuel Shankland uh, fifth but all of them got five points so yeah that's the final standings if you like this video press like if you don't like this video for some reason press unlike and leave the comment with the suggestion what games you would like to see on this channel in the future I'm very open uh, for any suggestion and um, and if you don't want to miss any future games we're gonna go uh, for uh, Akiba Rubinstein saga uh, just tomorrow and if you don't want to miss any of them press subscribe click the bell button and um, see you in the next one